The Turkic languages are a language family of at least 35 documented languages, spoken by the Turkic peoples of Eurasia from Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, Central Asia, and West Asia all the way to North Asia particularly in Siberia and East Asia. The Turkic languages originated in a region of East Asia spanning western China to Mongolia, where Proto Turkic is thought to have been spoken, according to one estimate, around 2,500 years ago, from where they expanded to Central Asia and farther west during the first millennium. Turkic languages are spoken as a native language by some 170 million people, and the total number of Turkic speakers, including second language speakers, is over 200 million. The Turkic language with the greatest number of speakers is Turkish, spoken mainly in Anatolia and the Balkans. Its native speakers account for about 40% of all Turkic speakers. Characteristic features of Turkish, such as vowel harmony, agglutination, and lack of grammatical gender, are universal within the Turkic family. There is also a high degree of mutual intelligibility among the various Oghuz languages, which include Turkish, Azerbaijani, Turkmen, Kashke, Gagaz, Balkan Gagaz Turkish, and Oghuz influenced Crimean Tatar. Although methods of classification vary, the Turkic languages are usually considered to be divided equally into two branches Oghur, the only surviving member of which is Chuvash, and Common Turkic, which includes all other Turkic languages, including the Oghuz subbranch. Turkic languages show some similarities with the Mongolic, Tungusic, Koreanic, and Japonic languages. These similarities led some linguists to propose an Altaic language family, though this proposal is not widely accepted. Apparent similarities with the Uralic languages family even caused these families to be regarded as one for a long time under the hypothesis of Ural-Altaic languages. However, there has not been sufficient evidence to conclude the existence of either of these macrofamilies, the shared characteristics between the languages being attributed presently to extensive prehistoric language contact. Characteristics Turkic languages are null subject languages, have vowel harmony, extensive agglutination by means of suffixes and postpositions, and lack of grammatical articles, noun classes, and grammatical gender. Subject object verb word order is universal within the family. The root of a word is basically of one, two, or three consonants. History The geographical distribution of Turkic-speaking peoples across Eurasia ranges from the northeast of Siberia to Turkey in the west, since the Ottoman era see picture in the box on the right above. Prehistory Extensive contact took place between Proto-Turks and Proto-Mongols approximately during the first millennium BC. The shared cultural tradition between the two Eurasian nomadic groups is called the Turco-Mongol tradition. The two groups shared a religion, Tengrism, and there exists a multitude of evident loanwords between Turkic languages and Mongolic languages. Although the loans were bidirectional, today Turkic loanwords constitute the largest foreign component in Mongolian vocabulary. The most famous of these loanwords include Lion, Turkish, Aslan or Arslan, Mongolian, Arslan, Gold, Turkish, Altan, Mongolian, Altan or Alt, and Iron. Turkish, Demir, Mongolian, Tomer. Some lexical and extensive typological similarities between Turkic and the nearby Tungusic and Mongolic families, as well as the Korean and Japonic families all formerly widely considered to be part of the so-called Altaic language family has in more recent years been instead attributed to prehistoric contact amongst the group, sometimes referred to as the Northeast Asian Sprachbund. A more recent circa 1st millennium BCE contact between Core Altaic, Turkic, Mongolic, and Tungusic is distinguished from this, due to the existence of definitive common words that appear to have been mostly borrowed from Turkic into Mongolic, and later from Mongolic into Tungusic, as Turkic borrowings into Mongolic significantly outnumber Mongolic borrowings into Turkic, and Turkic and Tungusic do not share any words that do not also exist in Mongolic. Alexander Vovin 2004, 2010, notes that Old Turkic had borrowed some words from the Ruan Ruan language, the language of the Roran Khaganate, which Vovin considers to be an extinct non Altaic language that is not related to any modern day language. <laughs> Early written records 
The first established records of the Turkic languages are the 8th century AD Orkhon inscriptions by the Gokturks, recording the Old Turkic language, which were discovered in 1889 in the Orkhon Valley in Mongolia. The Compendium of the Turkic Dialects Devanu Lugati Turk, written during the 11th century AD by Kazgarli Mahmud of the Kara Khanid Khanate, constitutes an early linguistic treatment of the family. The compendium is the first comprehensive dictionary of the Turkic languages and also includes the first known map of the Turkic speaker's geographical distribution. It mainly pertains to the southwestern branch of the family, the Codex Cumanicus 12th, 13th centuries AD concerning the northwestern branch is another early linguistic manual, between the Kipchak language and Latin, used by the Catholic missionaries sent to the western Cumans inhabiting a region corresponding to present-day Hungary and Romania. The earliest records of the language spoken by Volga Bulgars, the parent to today's Chuvash language, are dated to the 13th–14th centuries AD. Topic. Geographical expansion and development With the Turkic expansion during the early Middle Ages c. 6th–11th centuries AD, Turkic languages, in the course of just a few centuries, spread across Central Asia, from Siberia to the Mediterranean. Various terminologies from the Turkic languages have passed into Persian, Hindustani, Russian, Chinese, and to a lesser extent, Arabic. Classification For centuries, the Turkic-speaking peoples have migrated extensively and intermingled continuously, and their languages have been influenced mutually and through contact with the surrounding languages, especially the Iranian, Slavic, and Mongolic languages. This has obscured the historical developments within each language and or language group, and as a result, there exist several systems to classify the Turkic languages. The modern genetic classification schemes for Turkic are still largely indebted to Samoyilovich .The Turkic languages may be divided into six branches Common Turkic Southwestern Oghuz Turkic Northwestern Kipchak Turkic Southeastern Karlik Turkic Northeastern Siberian Turkic Argu Turkic Ogur Turkic. In this classification, Ogur Turkic is also referred to as Lir Turkic, and the other branches are subsumed under the title of Shaz Turkic or Common Turkic. It is not clear when these two major types of Turkic can be assumed to have actually diverged. With less certainty, the southwestern, northwestern, southeastern, and Ogur groups may further be summarized as West Turkic, the northeastern, Kyrgyz Kipchak, and Argu groups as East Turkic. Geographically and linguistically, the languages of the northwestern and southeastern subgroups belong to the Central Turkic languages, while the northeastern and Kalij languages are the so called peripheral languages. Harushka, et al. 2014, use computational phylogenetic methods to calculate a tree of Turkic based on phonological sound changes. Topic. Schema The following isoglosses are traditionally used in the classification of the Turkic languages. Rhoticism or in some views, zeticism, e.g. in the last consonant of the word for nine, asterisk takas. This separates the Ogre branch, which exhibits R, from the rest of Turkic, which exhibits Z. In this case, rhoticism refers to the development of asterisk R, asterisk Z, and asterisk D, to R, asterisk K, asterisk KH, in this branch. See Antonov and Jacques 2012 on the debate concerning rhoticism and lambdicism in Turkic. Intervocalic asterisk D, e.g. the second consonant in the word for foot, asterisk hadak, Word final G, e.g. in the word for mountain, asterisk tag. Suffix final G, e.g. in the suffix asterisk lig, in e.g. asterisk tag. Lig. Additional isoglosses include preservation of word initial asterisk H, e.g. in the word for foot, asterisk hadak. This separates Kalij as a peripheral language. Denasalization of palatal asterisk N, e.g. in the word for moon, asterisk N. Asterisk in the standard Istanbul dialect of Turkish, the G in dag and dogli is not realized as a consonant, but as a slight lengthening of the preceding vowel. Topic. Members The following table is based upon the classification scheme presented by Lars Johansson Topic. 
Vocabulary comparison The following is a brief comparison of cognates among the basic vocabulary across the Turkic language family about 60 words. Empty cells do not necessarily imply that a particular language is lacking a word to describe the concept, but rather that the word for the concept in that language may be formed from another stem and is not a cognate with the other words in the row or that a loanword is used in its place. Also, there may be shifts in the meaning from one language to another, and so the common meaning given is only approximate. In some cases the form given is found only in some dialects of the language, or a loanword is much more common e.g. in Turkish, the preferred word for fire is the Persian-derived atesh, whereas the native ad is dead. Forms are given in native Latin orthographies unless otherwise noted. Topic. Endangered Turkic languages An endangered language, or moribund language, is a language that is at risk of falling out of use as its speakers die out or shift to speaking another language. Language loss occurs when the language has no more native speakers and becomes a dead language. <inaudible> Russia Fifteen Turkic languages exist in endangered languages in Russia. Altai language, Northern Altai language, severely endangered, speakers 55,720 Bashkir language, vulnerable, speakers 1,200,000 Chulim language, critically endangered, speakers 44 Chuvash language, vulnerable, speakers 1,042,989 Dolgan language, definitely endangered, speakers 1,100 Karachay Balkar language, vulnerable, speakers 310,000 Kakas language, definitely endangered, speakers 43,000 Kumik language, vulnerable, speakers 450,000 Nogai language, Yurt Tatar language, definitely endangered, speakers 87,000 Shor language, severely endangered, speakers 2,800 Siberian Tatar language, definitely endangered, speakers 100,000 Tofa language, critically endangered, speakers 93 Tuvan language, vulnerable, speakers 280,000 Tatar language, vulnerable, speakers 5,200,000 <inaudible> Yakut language, vulnerable, speakers 450,000 <inaudible> China In Qinghai Amdu, the Salar language has a heavy Chinese and Tibetan influence. Although of Turkic origin, major linguistic structures have been absorbed from Chinese. Around 20% of the vocabulary is of Chinese origin, and 10% is also of Tibetan origin. Yet the official communist Chinese government policy deliberately covers up these influences in academic and linguistic studies, trying to emphasize the Turkic element and completely ignoring the Chinese in the Salar language. The Salar language has taken loans and influence from neighboring varieties of Chinese. It is neighboring variants of Chinese which have loaned words to the Salar language. In Qinghai, many Salar men speak both the Qinghai dialect of Chinese and Salar. Rural Salars can speak Salar fluently while urban Salars often assimilate into the Chinese-speaking Wei population. <inaudible> Iran Ethnologue and ISO list an Iranian language. Kalij with the same population, but Glottolog states it does not exist. The Kalij speak their Turkic language and Persian, and the supposed Iranian language of the Kalij is spurious. Khorasani Turkic, Khorasani Turkic, cross and trakshizi pronunciation, Zerzan Tarktesi, Persian, Zeban e Torki ye Zorasani Zaban Traki Krasani is an Oghuz Turkic language spoken in northern North Khorasan province and Razavi Khorasan province in Iran. Nearly all Khorasani Turkic speakers are also bilingual in Persian. Topic: <inaudible> Afghanistan. Many Turkic languages have gone extinct in Afghanistan. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Iraq. In 1980, Saddam Hussein's government adopted a policy of assimilation of its minorities. 
Due to government relocation programs, thousands of Iraqi Turkmen were relocated from their traditional homelands in northern Iraq and replaced by Arabs, in an effort to Arabize the region. Furthermore, Iraqi Turkmen villages and towns were destroyed to make way for Arab migrants, who were promised free land and financial incentives. For example, the Ba'ath regime recognized that the city of Kirkuk was historically an Iraqi Arab city and remained firmly in its cultural orientation. Thus, the first wave of Arabization saw Arab families move from the center and south of Iraq into Kirkuk to work in the expanding oil industry. Although the Iraqi Turkmen were not actively forced out, new Arab quarters were established in the city and the overall demographic balance of the city changed as the Arab migrations continued. Several presidential decrees and directives from state security and intelligence organizations indicate that the Iraqi Turkmen were a particular focus of attention during the assimilation process during the Ba'ath regime. For example, the Iraqi military intelligence issued Directive 1559 on 6 May 1980 ordering the deportation of Iraqi Turkmen officials from Kirkuk, issuing the following instructions, identify the places where Turkmen officials are working in governmental offices in order to deport them to other governorates in order to disperse them and prevent them from concentrating in this governorate Kirkuk. In addition, on 30 October 1981, the Revolution's Command Council issued Decree 1391, which authorized the deportation of Iraqi Turkmen from Kurok with paragraph 13 noting that this directive is specially aimed at Turkmen and Kurdish officials and workers who are living in Kirkuk. As primary victims of these Arabization policies, the Iraqi Turkmen suffered from land expropriation and job discrimination, and therefore would register themselves as Arabs in order to avoid discrimination. Thus, ethnic cleansing was an element of the Ba'athist policy aimed at reducing the influence of the Iraqi Turkmen in northern Iraq's Kirkuk. Those Iraqi Turkmen who remained in cities such as Kirkuk were subject to continued assimilation policies, school names, neighborhoods, villages, streets, markets and even mosques with names of Turkic origin were changed to names that emanated from the Ba'ath party or from Arab heroes. Moreover, many Iraqi Turkmen villages and neighborhoods in Kirkuk were simply demolished, particularly in the 1990s. Topic see also Altaic languages List of Ukrainian words of Turkic origin Middle Turkic Old Turkic Alphabet Old Turkic language Proto-Turkic language Topic References Topic Further reading Akhatov GKH, 1960 about the stress in the language of the Siberian Tatars in connection with the stress of modern Tatar literary language, sat asterisk Problems of Turkic and the History of Russian Oriental Studies, Kazan, in Russian Akhatov GKH, 1963. Dialect West Siberian Tatars monograph. Ufa, in Russian, Baskakov, N.A. 1962, 1969. Introduction to the Study of the Turkic Languages. Moscow, in Russian Boshutin, Hendrik and Lars Johansson, 2006. Turkic Languages in Contact. Turkologica, B.D. 61. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. ISBN 3-447-05212-0 Clausen, Gerard, 1972. An Etymological Dictionary of Pre-13th Century Turkish. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Denai, Jean et al., 1959-1964. Philologia Tursike Fundamenta. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. Dolotka, Sorab, 2016. Parlins Koshke. In, Collection Parlins. Paris, Larmatin. Dolotka, Sorab, 2016. Le Koshke, Long Tursik Diren. Create Space Independent Publishing Platform Online. Dolotka, Sorab, 2015. Koshke Folktales. Create Space Independent Publishing Platform Online. Johansson, Lars and Eva Agnes Sato, ed. 1998. The Turkic Languages. London, Routledge. ISBN 0 415 08200 5. Johansson, Lars, 1998. The History of Turkic, in, Johansson and Sato, pp. 81 125, 4. Johansson, Lars, 1998. Turkic Languages, in, Encyclopaedia Britannica. CD 98. Encyclopædia Britannica Online, 5 September. 2007, 5 Mengus, K. H. 1968. The Turkic Languages and Peoples, An Introduction to Turkic Studies. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. Oztopsu, Kurtulis, 1996. Dictionary of the Turkic Languages, English, Azerbaijani, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, Tatar, Turkish, Turkmen, Uyghur, Uzbek. London, Routledge.
ISBN 0 415 14198 2. Samoyelovich, A. N. 1922. Some Additions to the Classification of the Turkish Languages. Petrograd. Shawnig, Claus, 1997-1998. A New Attempt to Classify the Turkic Languages I3, Turkic Languages 1 1.117-133, 1-2.262-277, 2-1.130-151. 2-1 Starostin, Sergey A., Anna V. Dyba, and Oleg A. Mudrik, 2003. Etymological Dictionary of the Altaic Languages. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 90-04-13153-1 Vegelin, C. F. and F. M. Vegelin, 1977. Classification and Index of the World's Languages. New York, Elsevier. Topic external links Turkic languages verb comparison Turkic inscriptions of Orkhon Valley, Mongolia Turkic languages, resources, University of Michigan map of Turkic languages classification of Turkic languages online Uyghur English dictionary Turkic languages at Curly Turkic language vocabulary comparison tool, dictionary A comparative dictionary of Turkic languages open project the Turkic languages in a nutshell with illustrations. Swadesh lists of Turkic basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix. Conferences on Turkic languages processing, Astana, Kazakhstan, 2013, Istanbul, Turkey, 2014, Kazan, Tatarstan, 2015.